I'm here with Pete Chamberlain, my neighbor. Pete, you're an artist. I am. Who knew? Nobody knew around here. <laughs> Nobody around here. I. How long have you been living next to next to us down the dock? I think we're going on five years now. Five years, and it's one of those things where you know how, like, uh, when there's some kind of mass murder, and like the neighbors all and they all say, and they say, I didn't know he was the sweetest guy. <laughs> well, this is like kind of like that, but with art because you're so talented, and I had I thought you were just some some guy that worked with his hands doing like carpentry and stuff, but. You're, Sometimes you're, I am. But you're, but you're so incredibly talented. And let's talk about this. This one piece in particular really blows me away. Why don't you, why don't you tell me what we're looking at? Well, this is Seamus, and and he got his name from the moving guy that we hired when we moved from one house to another, and this was part of what had to be moved. He's uh, made out of locust twigs that came from the locust tree that was in the backyard and uh, the sweet gum pods uh, grow all around uh, where we lived at that time. I discovered they were pretty strong and almost as good as, as uh, Legos. And I thought, God, I can make anything with these. So then I thought if I wanted to make something, what do I want to make? So I decided I'd make Seamus. And it was as simple as that. And it's made out of these locust twigs, but it's it's pretty sturdy, and it's yeah. and it doesn't fall down. He and, well, he, he is freestanding. That, yeah. was, that was a real challenge. I'll tell you, working that out. How long did it, it take you? To, how long did it take you to make that, Pete? I worked on this piece, I'll bet, off and on for six months. Wow. That's a labor of love, right there. I was down in the cellar. I had to work out. I mean, I would spend. It might have been longer than that. I, w I would spend a long time just working out the anatomy of a foot or, or how the knee has to, has to go to really transfer the weight from one part to the other. It was sort of like an anatomy class in a way, uh, or an engineering class, I guess. Well, you have to have some kind of patience because if I can't figure something out in 30 seconds, I'm going on to the next. <laughs> why my life is full of uh, unfinished projects all around me <laughs> that I'm going to get back to one of these days. Oh, my God, Pete. And these are, these are uh, some that I got back to. There you go. And, and, and here's, I'm going to focus on another one, Pete, and I want you to, to explain for people. The, I mean, your work is so diverse, it's, it's crazy. And this is a fish made out of a piece of driftwood, and the teeth, I wonder if I can focus that closely, the t Why don't you tell people what the teeth are made out of, Pete? Those are rosebush thorns, which grow in my backyard. Rosebush thorns. Rosebush thorns. For, for, for teeth of this, the kind of sharp, sharp or something. You got to be careful. That thing will bite you. <laughs> <laughs> so we go from that. We go from Seamus to that, to this, this, this driftwood kind of boat. I mean, your work is, but it just spans so many different type of... It, it mostly reflects uh, my immediate surroundings, mm -hmm. in a way. I, the, when I'm near the ocean, there's a lot of driftwood. Yeah. I look at it, and I get ideas. Yeah. Things happen. And lo well, um, so speaking of that, that one up there, tell people what the white stuff is. The uh, water line there uh, on that one is a piece of window caulk that I pulled off an old window when I was renovating the building. <laughs> um, and I made a series of those so window caulk found material. They're not all driftwood. And then you go from that medium, those two mediums which are completely different from Seamus to the driftwood, to paint. To oil. This is oil? This is acrylic. Acrylic. And you go to that. I mean, Pete, you're amazing. So this is a view, I, 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 want, I want you to know, I, I called what this was. When I walked in, without seeing, because it says over here, it says Niles Beach View, but I said that, that that was what it was without reading that. So that's pretty good. That's a good call. Yeah. I didn't know what it was when I started. But, but, <laughs> but 
honestly, I was working on color blends and and um, you know, these ideas, they just happen, you know? That's just the kind of way it looks though, like when you're looking out on the horizon from Niles Beach. And it just rises up there on the horizon. Yeah. And then, and then you go to something like that. There's this that's like completely detailed. The filisse, and it, it just blows my mind how you can have be so talented in so many different mediums. One day, those guys were out painting the filisse, and I was up on my deck painting them. And I thought that was something I had to get down. It's so interesting. Most people would love that. And then over here you got, it's like a, those are mushroom? Those are bracket fungi. Yeah. Bracket fungi, you know, they grow on uh, birch trees and uh, other dead logs. And then? Uh, mounted on a piece of root and painted whimsically. And that's what like the, that's the same kind of uh, a, a pot? Acrylic. Acrylic. acrylic paint. No, but how is it? How does you make it so it doesn't rot on you? Uh, I don't put it out in the rain. So there's no kind of epoxy like the sweet gum things. It's not sealed. That's not sealed. Not That's sealed. natural. No. If you, you want to see the back of it, it's very sure. Yeah, let's check it out. You come around the other. Way. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Yikes. This is the natural back of oh. these bracket fungi. Oh my goodness. And I just painted on this side with, uh, with acrylic. These will last a good long time. Yeah, I mean, it, I thought it was because it looked so sturdy and everything. But that's what you do. So Pete, how long are you going to be displaying your, your stuff here at the, uh, at the Khan Studio Good Morning Gloucester Gallery? I will have my work up until the 23rd. And you plan on spending a little time down here meeting people too, huh? I'm going to be here as much as I can. Very cool. That time, especially tomorrow morning. Do you have any stuff on the web besides what we've put up of your stuff? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> You're one of those uh, people. <laughs> He's one of those people. I'm working on it. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That's what we're here for. Oh, wait. We didn't mention this one, Pete. This is the one. The view out your back deck. Off my back deck at night, looking over Joe's dock. And our dock, Captain Joe and Sons. Down at, down at those lobster boats. There you go. Very cool. All right, come down to the gallery. At, what's the address, EJ? 77 Rocky Neck. 77 Rocky G3. Neck. G3. G3, the, the Mad Fish Wharf. Come see Pete's very cool stuff. Thank you.